of this is Kedivitics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are going to look at how we can run the negative binomial regression model using the ETA platform. And so when you watch this video right to the very end, you will be able to know how to be able to do that using simple lines of code. And so if you watch our previous video where we looked at the assumption back in our decision whether we we'll choose Poisson or a negative binomial regression model, you will be able to see how you can check that assumption. So we'll not do that in this video, but we'll go straight to running our negative binomial regression model. So to be able to run the negative binomial regression model, in stata, we type nd reg, which is simply negative binomial regression, and then your count variable. Your count variable comes, in this case, we are going to use a and c. Well, if you don't know what count variables or count outcome is, you may want to watch that video where we looked at the assumption check. It is explained in that video what count variable is and why a and c qualifies to be a count variable. So you do yourself a lot of good by watching that particular video. I want to see how parity, marital status, place of delivery, religion, well, medical care, mother's education and residence, how this contributes to the count variable of interest here, A and C. So we are adding I dot because these are all factor variables. And for that reason, we we'll have to indicate that the index category should be used as the reference category. That is the reason we are adding the I dot. So now we we'll add BC robust. Yeah, and then <clears throat> we can add. Okay, let's run this. And then it fits the Poisson. So you actually fix the Poisson before the negative binomial regression model is detected. So right here we have the, right here we have the negative binomial regression model. The number of observations, the wild chi square, the significant level, the pseudo R square value at this, and the dispersion, the mean value. So here it presents as a coefficient, a robust standard error, the Z score, the P value, and then the 95 confidence interval. Now, if we don't want the coefficients, but rather we want the incident uh, rate ratio, we just add I, R, R. And also, if we intend to change the level or the confidence interval from 95, the default, to perhaps 85, we type this line of code level into brackets, then the desired confidence interval we are looking for, and then we click on enter, and it does exactly what it did earlier and then it presents us with an 85 percent confidence interval and instead of the coefficients that were presented in the earlier scenario here it gives us uh, it gives us what the incident rate ratios so basically this is how you can be able to run the binomial sorry the negative binomial regression model using uh, Stata platform, simply with this line of code, and BREC, then the count outcome variable, then you add your factors or your um, covariates, then you do comma uh, VCE robust. Then if you're interested in the incidence rate ratio, you add that. And then the specific confidence interval you want to use, then you equally use that. If you find this video useful, you may want to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the post notification bell so you're always notified whenever a new one like this is released. So we meet again on our next one. This is Catalytics, and it's a bye.